Sam found himself standing on the most beautiful oil rig in the world as he listened to yet another generic briefing that would have no effect on how the mission would pan out. Why would they be holding onto this rig? Because it's pretty, that's why. Sam remembered finding this sort of level atmospheric and fun to play 10 years ago. However, the game mechanics were starting to show their age. He found himself stuck. He vibrated there before performing all sorts of crouches and jumps to free himself from the oil rig's invisible grasp. He navigated the ceiling hung pipe but then couldn't see where to go. He may have been a secret agent, but this obstacle course was taking him for a fool. He tried dropping down either side of the platform to shimmy across to the other side, but alas, to no avail. But it's fine since his tablet PC or whatever they had back then had a quick load function. He started again thinking it would be easy, but got stuck on the planks and in his jumping spree to get free he accidentally fell to his watery grave. Again. Third time lucky and sure enough he found where he was meant to go without a glitch or splash in sight. He found the rope and athletically slid down it to the platform. Then drowned. Fourth time he missed the ledge. And fifth time, he failed on the rope pit again. Sam was getting annoyed and very, very wet. Sixth time, he jumped at the bottom and almost went flying off the other side, but caught himself and after the cameraman had stopped jumping around, he climbed the pipe and entered the oil pipe. Flammable Sam was about to begin his most confusing mission yet. Oh look, there's the briefcase. Sam could remember this place, but still struggled to find a way across. He looked around, tried the ceiling, but found another, more exciting solution. Ouch! Both of his legs snapped, but more importantly, he was onto the next stage of his journey to stealthily follow the geek with the suitcase. There wasn't time to waste. This poor guard was going down. To make matters worse, there were team killers quickly approaching the rig. Explosions shook the oil rig and Sam waited for the enemies to scatter. Seriously, this level looks amazing. Sadly, there wasn't time to admire the scenery as the bad guys caught a scent of Sam's aftershave and as a result, another family lost their father. Another enemy lay ahead. Sam didn't quite know what this achieved, but oh well. Sam didn't see a window of opportunity to be clever and after being told to hurry up by his homies back at HQ, Sam did what he does best, shooting people. He wouldn't last five seconds in Counter-Strike. Sam wasn't feeling too good after this firefight and needed health, but there was no time for that. The briefcase wanker came around the corner and Sam followed. But suddenly a guard appeared. Sam not so elegantly slid into the shadows again and waited for the threat to pass before pursuing. You can tell that this is a later level since the doors actually closed behind guards this time. Sam had to find another way round. He ran like a loony as the rig burned down around him and as the laptop slid deeper into enemy territory. The solution was stupid and not at all obvious. He had to leave the way he came in and roll through some fire. The enemy shot the windows out, allowing Sam to pass through and to continue following them. Unfortunately, there was an enemy shooting up lots of stuff but Sam dealt with him ruthlessly and efficiently, leaving the body for the fire. And not for the first time. What was that? Pathetic. The briefcase guy was getting away. Sam healed and then assessed his surroundings. He was caught unaware by a guard but dispatched of him, then made a good attempt to eliminate the other with his fists, but failed. Sam couldn't be bothered with this. He set fire to the rig even more and quickly proceeded to the next area. Still not sure what they're all shooting at, but maybe they're going for a heart of darkness kind of madness to give this level a creepy atmosphere. Don't worry, Sam's getting annoyed at this place as well. It's kind of sad since it's the one level that he remembers vividly from his first playthrough over 10 years ago. Jesus, that was close. Didn't help with the door though. Sam still had to burn his way through. Who even bothers locking all these doors? What about the guards left on the other side? Ah, got you now, you slimy little computer nerd. Please, I'm not spending my spare time playing games and gay stuff like that. No, I'm a true secret agent who gets lots of girls. Not that they see me, since I'm super stealthy, but not in the rapey way. Gotcha! What makes this worth the risk? 
Good question, Sam. Yeah, you interrogate that dungeon master. Oh look, a glitch! Sorry, it had to be done. Second time Sam did it perfectly and finished the mission. Well done, Sam. He can't wait to do some more stealthy levels again now. Time to get to work, Fisher. On the next video in the series, Sam discovers the consequences of getting to work late.